Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And today I will be showing you all around this Renault Master 4x4 by Renault Trucks. So this features the four-wheel drive system from Ober Aigner in Germany. And yeah, we'll be having a full look around this van. So I'll show you all around the outside first. Then we'll have a look at the rear, the interior dimensions. And then we'll hop inside and see all the interior features. And then we'll be going out on the road and we'll be taking it off-road as well. See how the system works, of course. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Let's go. Okay, as we just check out the side profile of the van. Now you'll notice it is quite a long van, which means it has to have these side marker lamps. I just have them turned on there at the moment. If the van exceeds a certain length, you have to have those lights on by law. Now this is a medium height Renault Master. You can get them higher up, as you'll see from the photo of the white van. And you can also get them shorter, which would come to about here on the shorter vans. And you can get them short wheelbase if you want. So you'll notice it does sit higher up than a standard Renault Master van. So it's sitting 58 millimeters at the rear and 65 millimeters at the front. So you have plenty of ground cl clearance there for going off-road in the Renault Master 4x4. Now this is a three and a half tonner van. So with fluids and a driver, it weighs 2,477 kilos, which means that you're allowed a payload of 1,023 kilos. So you're down on your payload to a normal Renault Master van, and that's because of the four-wheel drive system from Ober Aigner, and it's demonstrated nicely here at the side of the van. Now this Ober Aigner system weighs an extra 195 kilos. Um, that's the total weight of the system. So that's why you're down on your payload, as I said, but all these things have to be taken into account when you're buying a van. You just have to check all the weights and make sure you don't exceed your three and a half ton weight limit. But yeah, let's just have a look at the engine. So just checking out the engine bay then and see what we have. So everything is all very easily laid out. We have our coolant bottle there. We can uh, check our oil level and top up your oil and our brake fluid and also our washer bottle there for your wipers. So what we have here is a 2.3 litre diesel engine. It's a four cylinder unit and it develops 163 horsepower and it has 318 newton meters of torque developed between 1500 RPM and 2750 RPM. So that is your power band. So torquey enough engine. Um, now you will notice there is no battery in here because the battery is situated um, underneath the step hopping into the passenger side. That's where the battery is, but very handy here. If I just show you, look, we have a positive outlet here for the battery. So if you want to jumpstart another vehicle, just connect your, um, your jump leads there. You're positive on this and then you're negative on another bit of steel on the van and you can jumpstart another vehicle. Very handy to have that. So just, uh, we have halogen lamps. Um, we don't have any LEDs on this. Now there is an option in the rear to have LED lamps in the rear because the lamps inside are not very good at lighting up the inside of the van. So uh, make sure you get LEDs in the rear. I'll just show you them shortly. But uh, yeah, just having a quick look around just to give you uh, an idea of what this van is all about. But uh, and another peek underneath there. That's yeah, out of focus. <laughs> there you go now. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna um, open up the rear there and just give you a look inside and see what we have. You'll see the 4x4 badge there. Oh yes, and also it has rear reversing sensors, which is excellent, along with that tow hitch, also very good. Now these might get damaged by forklifts driving in and hit, hitting them, so just be careful of that. And it also has a rear reversing camera, which is fantastic. You'll see it situated underneath there. So very good by Renault Trucks. So let's open it up and have a look. So yeah, I'm just gonna go down through all the different um, dimensions because it is quite spacious in here. We have 14 cubic meters of space. So let's go down through all the dimensions. So space-wise, it's pretty good in between the arches. We have 135 centimeters in between that arch and we have 370 centimeters between the very back right up there to the front. So you can easily get three pallets here, no problem. Um, so we have our bulkhead there and you can see we have storage above the top of the cabin here. Plenty of storage in there. Now my head is hitting the roof. So if you want extra space, you better go for the higher van. I am six foot two. 
So I would definitely prefer to have a higher van, but it's up to yourself if you want to go for the extra cost. Now I'm just going to open up the side door here. Um, so you have plenty of space there to get your full pallet in. Um, now it is raining outside, so you'll probably see rain on the lens. Now one issue with these Renault Master vans is the contact points in there for your center locking. So these contacts here, they don't contact properly with the little unit there and you will hear a buzzing noise. Uh, anybody that drives these vans will be familiar with that noise. Um, so it, like, it's kind of just an indication that your door is not closed properly when in actual fact it is. So it's just an issue that needs to be uh, fixed by Renault but I'm just reviewing the van so I have to tell you all these things. But uh, yeah, so now if this was the four and a half tonner van, you would be restricted here in your width in between the arches. So at the moment there, you've got good space. But uh, remember with the four and a half tonner van, you will also have a tackle graph and you will have a speed limiter. So just something to take into account if you're buying one of these vans. So space wise there, you have plenty of space to get in a pallet. Um, we have 173 centimeters from the floor up to the top and 154 centimeters um, halfway down the doors uh, to get in your load but up top obviously it curves in up top so you have 113 centimeters up top um, the way it just narrows in but yeah that is pretty much the dimensions now the side door there you have 125 centimeters of side door clearance and 168 centimeters there of height going in your side door but uh, you wouldn't have as much head space going in the side as the rear you'll see it there you have a bit more room on the rear coming in but uh, yeah that's pretty much the rear of the van I just had to give it a wash out there so you'll see the floor there some stains on the floor I just had to give uh, the van a wash before I done this review but yeah we're gonna hop inside and check out the interior and see what it's like let's just close these doors very easy to do we have the barn style doors. So, oh yeah, I'll just show you one thing as well, look. Um, you can just clip that over and just open your door out wide if you wish. And if I close it over here, you'll see we have little um, magnets there that will just hold it in place so it won't be blowing out. But uh, yeah, quite easy to do. And that is your handle there when you're inside the van. You can open it up from the inside. Okay. Let's cl climb in the front and have a look at the interior features. So that is your key there. It's simply unlock and lock. Now you can get keyless entry, which would be a little transponder that would hold on your keyring if you want keyless entry. So let's open it up. Now you will notice that the step is higher up than a normal Renault Master van because of the four wheel drive system, of course. Uh, there is, it is starting to rain a bit now, but uh, we have storage there on the door and also up here and over there which is very handy and good big mirrors good visibility from them and they are electrically operated and our electric windows and over here is where you fill up your ad blue so it's a 22 liter ad blue tank and um, we have an 80 liter diesel tank at the opposite side to where that one is situated so yeah and as i said to access your battery you just take out this step unit on the passenger side so it's over there your battery and underneath here we have all the tools for your, uh, changing your wheel and you'll see there we have storage underneath the seats as well and our three pedal layout there so yeah let's just hop inside we do have good fabric there good hard wearing fabric in the Renault Master and of course great headroom here uh, inside in the cab so I'm just going to um, fold down this see we have a little table there we can swing that around for doing all our little bits and pieces <laughs> and in there cup holders and storage so very handy to have that and we can clip it there back into place now uh, you see there passenger side headrest uh, very comfortable and a grab handle there there is none for the driver just the passenger side and we have storage up there little shelves uh, up there now somebody can ask and um, <laughs> I just want to ask you in the comment section uh, why are they there See those little gaps there? Why is there those gaps on the shelves? I've no idea myself. But uh, we can lock all the doors there by that one switch and that is our hazard warning switch. So uh, also this shelf up here as well, another one situated up there. 
But yeah, that's how it looks on the inside of the cab. Um, I'm just going to start it up here and go down through some of the functions. Uh, let's get the key in, close that door because of the rain. And uh, let's start it up. Uh, we will be taking it out on the road shortly. So it's in standard highway mode. And I'm just going to turn off the fan here. So you'll notice there, that is our Ober Aigner system, the four-wheel drive system. Now it tells you there, never use 4x4 on dry, hard roads. Refer to manual. So like it's only recommended to use these um, 4x4 systems on, uh, you know, like slippy surfaces and rough road conditions. So uh, you see there we have low range mode and that is for sticking it into four wheel drive. And when you stick it into four wheel drive, you have no ESP or ABS. So your electronic stability control and anti-lock brakes will be switched off when you turn the four x four system on. So you need to keep that in mind as well. So yeah, our radio there, we have a little very handy USB connection there. And we also have auxiliary input, which is very handy. And up here as well, we have another USB and we can keep all our coins in here and storage. You can see for yourself, there's plenty of storage all around this cabin here and two more cup holders there and more storage and, and even a cup holder in there as well. And also one for the driver's side. And if I open up the glove box there, so we can get our big manual there and stuff it in there, very handy. Now I'm just going to open up this. This is your onboard diagnostic system. You can let me get see. Ah, there we are. And you can change all your fuses in there. So that is uh, very easy to clean as well. This rubber floor here. Now we have our gearbox there. It's quite a short throw. Uh, it's not too bad. Your six speed. So yeah, um, I'm just going to put it into reverse as well because you will see there. Uh, in the rear view mirror there, we have our camera. So, very good to have that in your uh, Renault Master Van. And of course we have air conditioning as well, <laughs> which all the drivers love. You have to have your air conditioning in your van. Um, that, that is all very handy. And we have an electrical socket there. We have cruise control. We have um, stop start as well, and eco mode. So if you want to drive your van more economically, and on the steering wheel there, we have our cruise control functions. And if I move over here, that is for your parking sensors. And also here we have traction control. Yeah, I think it's time to take this Renault Master Van out on the road and see how it goes. And off we go in the Renault Master. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad little van. It's, uh, the seats are nice and comfortable. Visibility outside is very good as well, and the mirrors are very good. Good size on them. Now, Renault says that if you buy one of these vans new, you are to have a running in period. So you're not to exceed two and a half thousand RPM, and also not drive over 54 miles per hour, or 90 kilometers, um, for the first 900 kilometers. Uh, they recommend that you don't exceed that rpm two and a half thousand so um yeah that's only just to bed in the engine just to make sure that it has a long life but just driving it away here now the steering is quite light and it's quite <laughs> preppy enough the performance but then it is empty we don't have a load on so it's a kind of an easy test today and we'll see how it performs off-road but as I said, you're not supposed to have that four-wheel drive system on uh, driving on normal road surfaces. It's only for sticky conditions, you know, where it's uh, rough road surfaces or slippy road surfaces like snow and ice. It would be very good for that as well. And also, when you have the 4x4 system on, remember that your ESP and your APS is off. So you have to keep that in mind. So our six-speed gearbox there, it's quite easy to use and very easy to hand. Um, literally <laughs> no real effort at all in changing gears. And we do have a, an armrest here. Rest your arm there and cruise control. Very handy to have that. And of course our air conditioning, brilliant. So um, 
as I, as I said already, like you do have plenty of space in the van. It's 22 and a half foot long, so it's quite a long van. And you know, we have a we have a cycle race going on here, is it? <laughs> a bunch of guys on bicycles there on the right. But uh, yeah, it is peppy enough. It's not a fast van. Um, definitely, definitely not fast, but. I mean, for what you need it for, it should be more than fine, which is light loads, because this van wouldn't be carrying heavy loads. But remember, if you do go for the four and a half tonner master van, you will have a tachograph and you will be speed restricted as well. So just uh, keep that in mind if you're going for your four and a half tonner. But um, let's just pep it up here now a bit. The steering feels okay as well, not too bad. What's the horn like? <laughs> okay. And we'll get it up to get it up to 60 miles per hour here and see how it's performing. See what it's revving in at there. Uh, we'll get it up to 100 kilometers and you can see there it's revving in at just over 2,000 rpm. So about 2100 RPM. Luckily enough the rain has stopped. Because <laughs> when we're doing the 4x4 drive I hope to be um, outside. Getting some footage outside of the van driving. And get my cousin to drive the van and see how he likes the van too. Um, he knows everything about 4 wheel drive. Uh, I don't do a lot of off-road off driving myself. But he does. Now look, it doesn't have those real high traction tires uh, they're only kind of designed for road use so you get better miles per gallon but overall the van is pretty good um, now it would be nice if it was a bit quieter inside in the cabin um, it is a bit loud in here and you can feel the footwells all right you can feel the water up on the footwells there but remember, like, vans are not like cars. They don't give you total luxury. They're just a workhorse. And that's what this van is, just a workhorse. And it should be very good for the purposes that you'll be buying it for. So yeah, I'm just gonna make it down now to this field and take it off road and see how it performs. <laughs> The off-road part of the video so I just need to get into this field in this tight gateway here nice and easy and get onto the rough ground and we can turn our 4x4 system on I have it on there at the moment and we can also put it into low range so we can switch that to low range if we wish and yeah um, I might just go out, hop outside now and get some shots and get my cousin to drive the van and uh, we'll put it into two wheel drive mode which will be rear wheel drive and then put it into four wheel drive mode now we've got some cows here looking at us wondering what the hell is going on <laughs> but uh this is what it's about just demonstrating to you guys whoa now you see look <laughs> that was pretty rough there now and uh it coped quite well <laughs> yeah that is very, it was very so soft over there now. Uh, yeah, we'll just get it onto this section here now. I'll hop out and I'll get a shot there for you of it, uh, of how it performs. <laughs> but it's quite funny here at the moment now. <laughs> I've never done this before on the channel. Driving a four wheel drive van <laughs> around a field with a bunch of cows. <laughs> this is a new one for me. Oh, uh, anyway, let's hop outside and give you a look. Yeah, so we're in two-wheel drive at the moment. In rear-wheel drive, it's getting a bit bogged down. Okay, put it back into four-wheel drive. Look at that. Out she goes. <laughs> he has it back in two-wheel drive. Now he's going to switch it to four-wheel drive again. Is he? Yeah, there you go. 
Look at this, look at this, how easy it is. <laughs> he just needs to come back a bit now because it is a bit tight getting out. But yeah, it's, that just demonstrates the great capabilities of the four-wheel drive system in the Renault Master 4x4. I've been told best of luck. <laughs> Trying to get up this hill. Okay, let's go <laughs> and see what happens. I put on my seatbelt anyway. <laughs> But uh, yeah, okay, all systems are on. I'm in low range and I'm also in full four-wheel drive mode. So uh, this is a steep hill now. <laughs> this is not like a half test. And uh, my cousin is hugely experienced in off-road driving. So um, <laughs> he might have a good laugh if I end up coming down this hill spinning out but uh <laughs> okay here we go will it make it up the hill nice and easy nice and easy low range <laughs> yeah it's oh no no <laughs> okay michael's gonna hop in and he's gonna make an attempt at it okay because uh and then maybe i can laugh at him <laughs> okay here we go, here we go. Give it a go, give it a go. <laughs> Should we put on our belts? <laughs> it looks scary right now, doesn't it? It does look very <laughs> steep like when you look at it. Okay, go for it. Well you're going into second gear here. And that brings to an end our test of the Renault Master 4x4. What a great van to get up that hill. <laughs> you can see just how steep it is. So uh, yeah, my cousin's impressed with the van, so he drives this Toyota Land Cruiser over there. And uh, yeah, he says it's a pretty good van to get up that hill. Uh, only just that I couldn't get up it. <laughs> I wasn't giving it enough power, boys. But there you have it. Now, um, the steering wheel could do with more adjustment. You can adjust it up and down, but there's no in and out adjustment on the steering wheel, so that needs improving. But um, other than that, it's a great van. Now, the 4x4 system is quite expensive, so just click on the links below and contact Renault Trucks Dublin for more information on the Renault Master 4x4. And uh, you can get all the pricing and more details on this van. But I quite enjoyed it today, now, <laughs> going on that hill, just seeing what this is capable of. You can see for yourself, very good van. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll chat to you all again next weekend. Please click subscribe. More videos coming up. I'll chat to you then, guys. Thanks. Cheers! And see what, it, see what it's like. See how it performs. Take four. Now, I have to remember to turn the systems off when I get back onto the main road. Yeah, but... What a day, boys. What a day.